Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the binary tree pre-order traversal problem using iteration. Remember, last time I showed you how to solve it using recursion, but as a follow-up question, so it says that the recursive solution is trivial. Could you do it iteratively? So today we're going to do it iteratively. So um, they give you a binary tree, and you have to return a list that has the pre-order traversal of the nose values. So the pre-order traversal, first you process the root, and then um, the left subtree, and then the right subtree. Using recursion, we can do that very easily. But the recursion uses the stack implicitly. So if we're going to use iteration, we have to use a stack explicitly. So what we do is that we process the node, and as we process the node, we push it to the stack, and we keep going left, all the way left. When we get to a node link, we cannot go left anymore, so we have to go back up. How do we go back up? We pop from the stack. So that's the main idea. And then when we pop from the stack, then we have to go right to go to the right subtree. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need a list of integer, the final result, because the value of new array list of integer if root equals equals null, if the tree is empty, return the final result as an empty list. At the end, return the final result. As I said, I need a stack of pointer to node s. Guess the value of new stack of pointer to node. And I also have to have a pointer cur initially points to the root. All right, so I'm going to have a while loop. While cur is not equal to null or not s that is empty. What does that mean? As long as I can continue going left, that means that cur is not null. Or I can go back up, then keep going because I have more I have more nodes to process. So if cur equals equals null, that's the case when I have to go back up because I got to a null link. Else, that's the case when I can continue going left, down left. So if I cannot go down anymore, if I cannot go down anymore to the left, then I have to go back up. So I say cur gets the value of s dot pop. I pop from the stack. And then I have to go to the right subtree. Cur gets the value of cur dot right. Because I finished with the left subtree, now I have to process the right subtree. So this case is handled. Now, what I do is that this is pre order traversal. So first I process the node. How do I process? In this case, I have to add the value to the final result list. So I say result.add cur.value. Then, as I go down, I also have to uh, push the node to the stack. So s.push cur. Because I want to be able to go back up. And the stack is going to allow me to do that because it has the life of pro property, which is last in first out. And then I continue going left. Cur gets a value of cur.left. So this is what the recursion does implicitly. What we are doing is that we are doing it explicitly. We have the stack, explicit stack, and we go left, left, left. When we get to a null link, then we pop to go back up. So the stack allows us to go back. And as we go down, we process the node. So now I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. Submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.